Hey guys, I'm Abhil back again with another video. This time it is about this speed test and RAM management comparison between Mi A3 and Samsung M21. Let's see how significant will be the difference when we compare Exynos 9611 with Snapdragon 665. So let's get started with this video. But before this, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button to watch more videos. And if you've already subscribed, a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. First of all, let's start with the reboot and we'll see which one will reboot the device faster. Okay. So one, two, three. And if you're using any of these two devices, then do let me know in the comments your experiences. How good are they in terms of speed and RAM management, apps loading or games loading times? Do let me know in the comments. I found that this one 665 is really capable processor. Uh, you won't you know, uh, experience any kind of lag. This one is also good. Uh, Exynos 9611. But gaming is to some extent better on this one. Okay, now we have to wait to see which one will reboot faster here okay and uh, yes we have to wait yes Exynos 9611 but there is no significant difference like what we observed when we compare this one with 660 there was a significant difference but here there is no significant difference according to me just a matter of one second I guess okay now let's start with the geekbench we'll see the geekbench score now okay so yes okay now now let me tell you one thing this uh, 665 is clocked at 2.0 gigahertz and this one is clocked at 2.31 gigahertz okay so there is a difference in terms of you know this power okay uh, but yes, we'll be checking on the score exactly. Yeah. So here are the results. You can see that there is a difference uh, if you compare the score of this Samsung M21 with this 665, Snapdragon 665. And one thing I would like to tell you here is that if you check the Geekbench scores uh, of this M21, which is having this 9611, right, the scores varies a lot. This is what I found. If you check it again, then it will show you different results. So we will not do that. We'll just take it as it is. Like here, you can see that 665, uh, it is 306, and that is the single core score. Here, the single core is 259. Not a significant difference. Yes, there is a difference, but uh, here it, there is a difference. 1410 multi core score here, it is 1182. So that means there is a difference, but. Uh, it varies a lot in case of you know Exynos 9611 but we'll see how significant will be the difference when we are going to compare the apps loading times okay now let's get started with that first of all we'll see if there is anything running in the background nothing here okay here as well nothing so let's start with the phone app first one two three yes m21 according to me now settings here are settings okay one two three again m21 according to me then phone app done cameras here yeah. camera one two three this time it is me at three according to me then chrome app let's check this one as well okay one two three this time m to uh, this one 665 let's load this web page and we'll see which one will load this web page faster yeah both are connected to the same Wi-Fi one two three almost same I believe but yes 665 was a bit faster according to me now Play Store one two three 665 but there is no significant difference if you see here yeah? Load this app Instagram one two three this time yes almost same completely loaded same time not a problem okay Netflix one two three we'll see M21 yeah prime videos 
Yeah, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is the prime video? Prime video. It's not here. I need to check. Yeah, here it is. One, two, three. M21 again. So M21 is doing good in terms of loading the you know apps according to me. Okay. Now let's check one thing. Uh, we have almost uh, opened uh, I think around 10 apps. Now let's check the RAM management. First of all, we'll be checking the you now the website. Still in the memory, not a problem. Both are having 4 GB RAM. So that is enough for our day-to-day -day activities according to me. Now let's do one thing. Let's do the real test now the PUBG one two three okay now as I said in my previous video gaming is not that great on this one though it is having a really good display and this one is having a really poor display but to some extent gaming is better on this device okay when you play games it is um, the you know response uh, is really good touch response particularly it's good this one is having some issues regarding touch response so i'll be doing a you know dedicated video for this as well okay but you can see that in terms of loading the game this one is faster this uh, m21 okay now this call of duty one two three and i found one thing is that uh, the Call of Duty game uh, is really good. You don't have any problem, you know, while playing games, uh, and it it is really good on both of these devices. Okay, even the Nokia 7.2 with 660 can handle Call of Duty, and it's really surprising because the Call of Duty has, you know, more sophisticated um, graphics according to me. But still, uh, it is well optimized for the devices. So I believe that uh, PUBG should also do that. Now let's see which one will load the game faster here. Okay. I believe 665. Let's wait. Yes. Wait. And do let me know if you have these any of these devices how good are they in terms of playing games do let me in the comments okay so here you can see that uh, the 665 has taken a lead here wait yes uh, this one 665 okay But it is, it is showing this connecting to the server, but it's done. Okay, so we have the winner here that is 665. So, as I said, gaming is to some extent better on this 665. Now, let's check the RAM management now. Okay, the web page obviously. Uh, the first one, yes, still in the memory here. Here as well. Okay. Then Instagram still in the memory, not a problem. Here, oh, what happened? Yes, still in the memory. Now, Netflix, yes, not a problem. Yeah, so you can see that the RAM management is uh, not an issue here on both of these devices and according to me 4GB of RAM is enough for our daily use if you're not a very very heavy user you don't require more than 4GB of RAM. Yes, obviously sometimes 64GB ROM is not enough so you can expand that but 4GB RAM is enough. So if you see there is no significant difference but yes gaming is to some extent better on this one but when you do the daily task you know there is no issue there is no lag here yeah but there is one issue that i'll be talking in my detailed video about this m21 so do subscribe to watch more videos on these two devices and if you end up liking my videos then again do subscribe okay so till the next video guys cheers and do share your opinions in the comments Take care, guys.